Okay, we can do it. Let's show it here. So this is our scales checklist, and we have four scales that we are adding extended chords to in this series. And by extended chords, we mean in particular these yellow chords over here. One, two, one, three, one, four, one, five. And we just finished today adding the 2772 scale, which we can play for you now. Here's what the 2772 scale sounds like and all its chords. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 2, Snare Figures. And in today's episode, we re-entered by confirming that we do want to add extended chords to all the remaining scales, including the traditional C minor major diatonic seven note scale. So far, we have brainstormed um, a theme for this series. At the moment, it's called Tri Theme Composing in Motion. Composing in Motion, which we'll talk about more later. Made a snare figures score, which we're going to play for you in a minute. Then we prepped our reference sheets to begin adding extended chords, completed 2772, which you just heard, and began ex adding extended chords to the C minor major. So here's what the uh, 2772 looks like here when it's all done. It has six unique minor chords, six unique major chords, and four chords that are shared by both the minor major scales because reasons. And then it has a total of four full tonality chords that can be played if you use all the notes at once. And so you just heard us playing those. The thing we realized is if you look at the scale DNA, which is what we call this number, so every note in the scale has an interval before the next note, like this is C, 2 jumps up to D, 5 jumps up to the G, etc. If you look at how many 1s are in here, that tells you how many extended chords you've got. Well, well, when you start looking at C minor major, it has a lot of ones in it here. Look at all these. So we've gotten so far as to add 12 new chords. These chords all here have been added today in today's session. And we have another 12, 24, 38 more to go. So we're kind of in mid-process there. Nevertheless, we knew this was the big kahuna. It had the most ones in its DNA. It was going to be the most to... Uh, to add extended chords for. So that's what we call grinding pigments. Back to doing some fun stuff. This is, we'll play this for you to wrap it up. This is where we are working with snare figures. We've used with melody figures a lot. And you're going to hear a melody here. You're going to recognize the melody. The melody is going to be, um, uh, like that. But what we've done is add a snare part because we're, we're wanting to learn how to do unpitched melodies as well. And what we really like about this is figuring out how to make it sound like we heard it in our head. We had to use triplet, whatever those notes are, 30-second notes to get that. And we also labeled the pitch, pitched figures, pitch six, and they each have their own rhythm, and the unpitched figures, and they each have their own rhythm. 
So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are definitely to continue adding extended chords. We also want to get into our spatial sound distinctions between stereo panning left and right. And then there's something called close far amplification attenuation. And then we've also experimented in prior series with vertical uh, distancing. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout out to Miss Cleo for stopping by. She always inspires us. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.